They're actually called networking drinks. Yep. It's not very subtle, is it? <laughs> G'day, I'm Charlie Norgo. Hi, Simon Trader. Richie Blake. G'day. Hey. So, what are you, an actor? No. <laughs> you are, I assume. No, thank God. <laughs> I'm an actor. Oh, oops. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Um, this is Simon. This is Richie. Uh, this is Luciano Hi. Rivera. Hi. Richie's a actor. Luciano's a TV producer. You working at the moment? Oh, I've got a few things going on. <laughs> what sort of work do you like doing? What is it? Anything good. I was on a soap for a while, but it wasn't really my thing. You don't want to do too many soaps. It gets you into bad habits. That's what I thought. You have to learn to pick and choose. That is very important when you're starting out. She's got Would you like to dance? Yeah, love Charlie at his last restaurant opening. You met at those drinks. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is a photo of me at 17. Oh, what a babe. This is great. And this last one is of you. Oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you. And thanks for helping me out with the voiceover job. You enjoyed it? I loved it. Now, I have been thinking quite a bit about your career. And I think that voiceover work is perfect for you. You have a lovely voice. I think you'll do very well. I really appreciate your help. It's not hard to help somebody with talent. <laughs> thanks. Do you have a lover at the moment? No. Do you want one? <laughs> Don't know. If you had to choose between Jude Law and Tom Cruise, who would you choose? Jude. You? Jude. Michael Douglas or Catherine Zeta Jones? <laughs> Catherine Zeta Jones. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Beautiful. What do you think? I'll have another one, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. Take a few, I might not be back this way for a while. I don't say that, mate. I don't know anyone here, all I can do is eat. Oh, well, you're with Luciana. You're her latest project. <laughs> I think I might be. 
I was a project for a while. So how long does it last? Not pretty much until you stop agreeing with her. <laughs> I'll be back. How are you going? Uh, pretty good. My food's great. Yeah, I suppose. A bit too fusion for my taste. <laughs> I like it. Come over here with me. Somebody here I want you to meet. I'm gonna get going. Thanks very much for tonight. I'll come with you. I'm actually going to Mink. That's great. Just get my bag. Come in. Wasn't sure if I remembered your address properly. Uh, How are you feeling? Uh, hungover. What about you? Not too bad. Oh, you shouldn't have picked up the tab. It was too much. It appears that after a couple of Capri Oscars, I buy drinks for the entire bar. Take note. <laughs> I'd drop me to give you some money. Oh, please. I was, I was joking. It was my pleasure. I just hope I didn't intrude too much on you and Charlie. No, not at all. Come in. Good. These are these DVDs that we talked about? Oh, thanks. Come to the kitchen. This place is gorgeous. Yeah, I was trying to make tapas. Do you want some help? No, no. Let me get you a drink. I know that you think that all I ever do is swan around at parties, but if there's one thing that I can do, it is cook. Now, do you think what do you, you make? ever have children, Richie? I hope so. Me too. But I'm wondering if my time is running out. I kept waiting for the perfect happy family situation to come along, but I may have to go ahead without it. You know, I thought that way. Did I do the whole heterosexual family thing? I don't know now. You never know. We might end up having a baby together. <laughs> anyway, that's everything done. Are you going to stay for dinner? No, 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 no. You ring me in the morning and tell me how everyone raved about the food. <laughs> and I'll say I slaved away by myself all day. My body may be leaving. <laughs> I am leaving my soul here to make sure I get lots and lots of compliments. Have fun. That colour suits you. You should wear it more often. Thanks. Beer or beer? So what's the big news? You may not love this straight away. So just take a minute before you say anything. What do you think I am? Show me. Richie. Meet Aggie and the mongrel. He is Aggie's best friend. He doesn't talk. <laughs> That'll be because he's a dog. But he sings. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I thought you'd freak. Why, it's great. So does Aggie have a favourite uncle or something? No, 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 no. I want you for the mongrel. <laughs> yeah, you nearly had me there. N no way. No one will see your face. I'm an actor. Exactly. I don't do suit work. Fine. I'll get someone else. C can I have some time to think about it? You've got three days. Have you got a minute? One. If the role of the mongrel is still open, I'd like to put myself up for it. You'll have to test. What? The network want to see options. You were top of the list. OK, I'll test for it. Good. But there's one condition. Condition? Favour. If I take this role, I want to be part of the team. I want to get my hands dirty. I want you to teach me how to be a producer. If I get the role, that is. There may be more of the mongrel in you than you think. Look good. Right, just a little bit of... Oh, Richie! I'd like you to meet Aggie. Hi. I loved Ryan King. You were wasted in that show. 
Uh, thank you. Shall I walk you to the dressing room? Sure. So, uh, what's your real name? Okay, remember, it's only a test. But we want to really knock them dead, okay? Okay? From the top of page 13. Ready? And action. Don't be sad, Mungru. Kitty didn't mean to be so mean. I know. Why don't we do something to cheer us both up? Mm -hmm. Shall we bake a cake? One day's when it ain't going right Don't let the grumpy bugs abide Cos when your heart is aching Nothing beats the blues like baking And when you love a pal Like this boy and this girl There's nothing says it better <laughs> Right. Then a sweet tooth love letter. Oh, I heard a story twice. <laughs> when the world just ain't been nice. A it's double layer story. cheesecake <laughs> will take away the heartache. <laughs> First, you have to mix it up. Stirring some fun about a cup. A teaspoon oh, really of guy. silliness really will guy. fix that guy. broken heartedness. Cause when you have a chum who thinks he's gone all dumb, the clever way to fix it is get in the kitchen and mix it. Oh, I heard a story once when you feel like a dunce. A mud pie from Tasmania will always make you bring a woo woo woo. But, Mongrel, how can cakes make you smarter? I don't know, Aggie. It must be the cream of tada. <laughs> and cut. So, how do I look? Every bitch in town will be hot for you. Is that a good thing for a children's show? I still have to hammer out some of these merchandising issues with you. You know, your percentage, when it kicks in, that sort of thing. And you made me put the suit on first. What do you mean? It's hard to negotiate when you look like a Muppet. Well, take the head off then. Don't be so cynical. I'm on your side. And just to prove it, I got you something. To celebrate our partnership, I bought you a little gift. <laughs> wow. Okay, bye. Richie, I was just thinking about you. Um... You know, I don't wear shirts uh, very often, or with holes for these. All my shirts have buttons. Well, so buy new ones, or I'll buy you new ones. No, no, it's not that. It's just... They're too extravagant. So? I'm uncomfortable with the level of extravagance. So if I bought you something cheap and tasteless, you'd be OK with that? I suppose. Richie, I value you. I look at you and think you deserve these. It's a reflection of my esteem for you. Oh. You have to learn to value yourself, Richie. But if you don't think you're worth it... <sighs> no, I, I see your point. Good boy. Because look what else I Regina. got. Regina. <laughs> Is that our money? Richie, Charlie. Mwah. How are you? Richie, how gorgeous you are in this suit. Cuffs? <laughs> He's a picture, isn't he? I brought a bottle. This isn't a student party, Richie. We have wine. Come in and meet people. Important people we have to impress. Understand? I understand. What are you doing? I'll put it back in the car. It's a gift. It's an insult. A $200 insult we can drink later. When you've impressed all those important people, Oh, shut up, OK? This is important. Everyone? Meet my protege, Richie, a.k.a. the mongrel. <laughs> I'm teaching him the ropes, reshaping him in my own image. Go on, growl. Come on, Richie, growl. Growl. <laughs> 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 hey, what are you doing? Looking for meaty bites. <laughs> I have no dignity. Well, that's true. But working with Luciana, that might be a good thing. 
You know, I have no idea when to do what she says or when to do what I think is the right thing to do. Has anyone ever been sacked because they're not good at parties? Dolph Whitlam. Or oh, is that over something else? See, there you go. Witty and charming. Now get out there and do it. What are you two doing? We were going to fuck before dessert, but the chef tells me it's ready now, so I guess we should go back out. Charlie, you are so droll. Come on, Richie, there is work to do. No, I won't growl anymore, OK? What? I'm not your pet or your, your gigolo or your, your dumb child or whatever it is you want. We have a business arrangement, that's all. I make no distinction. Business and life, it's all one to me. Well, it's not to me. I, I want this to work, but you have to understand there are lines and it's unfair of you to cross them. No, it's true, you're right, you're right. I apologise. I didn't mean to make you feel anything but welcome. Are we clear? Crystal. Good. Now, come on. I told Bert Newton you'd sing for him. She is who she is. You have hmm. expectations of the direction you're likely to go, but a bit of flexibility is called for here. It's easy to end up where you least expect. Oh, uh, Richie. Wolf? Can I see you a minute? Right. What would you like to drink? Before we do, there's something I want to bring up. OK. I'm associate producer. And don't get me wrong, I appreciate that. I really do. It's OK, Richie. You're on a steep learning curve, but you're doing fine. What can I say? You're a hit. That's what I mean. I think if we're going to renegotiate anything, I'll have to look renegotiate at... Renegotiate what? Contracts were worked out months ago. What are you talking about? Aren't we here to talk business? No. Yes. Well, uh, uh, we're having lunch, Richie. Let's just leave work out of it. Hmm? But you said you had a deal. No, I didn't. I said I wanted to discuss something with you. Oh. I think I need a drink. Excuse me. Get Okay. I am 42 years old, Richie. I have been forging my career for 21 years. You could say I've made it. Yeah. Well, now... I want to be a mother. I want to have a child, Richie. And I want you to be the father. I just want some spur. Thank you. Do not put it like that. We are good friends. I chose you for lots of reasons. You can say no if you want. <laughs> it's a shock. I've never thought about being a father. Well, I have, but just vaguely. Not now, all of a sudden. You won't have to support her. Or him. Or him. That's my job. I want to get that clear from the start. You can be as much a father or not as you want. I hope I haven't shocked you too much. No, I, I, I'm flattered, I suppose. So, what, what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? You're saying yes. <laughs> What, would we have sex or, or is there like equipment and stuff? I've put a lot of thought into this. That's up to you. I wasn't expecting you to tell me now, Richie. It's a big decision, just take more time. No, I've made up my mind. You sure? Charlie and I talked about nothing else. That's good. We have to get it right. How was he when you, when you told him? He was fine with it. But... Like I said, I, I'm really flattered. I know how important it is, believe me. Yeah, it is. It, it was really nice of you to ask me first. 
And you've done a lot for me, I know that. Ask you first? Yeah. I didn't ask you first, Richie. There was no list. I just asked you. So, if I say no, then... Well, if you say no, I won't do it. Did you really think that I was shopping around? <laughs> I couldn't do that. The relationship that we have and... the way we are together... it could be a very positive thing. Oh, Richie, if you don't want to do it, I won't be insulted. I just thought you would have been perfect. <laughs> Turkey based. It's Italian. They're a fertile nation. It might be a good omen. Do you have to bring it to the office? Yes, I do. While I'm ovulating, we have to keep doing it. <sighs> I've got to go get ready. Uh-uh, before you go. <sighs> Need sperm, Luciana. Thanks for that. I hope it's a good... it works, you know? <laughs> See you tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Um, good luck. Thanks. Let's water some flowers. <gasps> Jesus! Sorry, I slipped. Do you want to sing a song about us? <gasps> Maggie is a darling. She likes to preen and pout. If she doesn't stop this crap, I'm gonna punch her out. That's not in the script. You here for a donation or to bore me out about Aggie? I'm here to see if you're okay. Really? Yeah. <sighs> I'm scared. Ever since we started this, I felt left out, like I'm the donor. I have no idea what's going to happen next. I know. You're scared. Of course. Am I too selfish to be a mother? Do I have enough love? A million things, you know? Maybe we need more than just... Maybe we need to do this thing together. Yeah, I think we do. Oh, and stop biting the kid. <laughs> Hi, what you doing? Just playing with my cards. Barbie, huh? Yeah. I know I'm too old for it, but I like it anyway. I'm oh, sorry I bit you, Aggie. It didn't hurt. You may have felt. It's a bit scary, isn't it? Doing all this. Yeah, it is. But you know what? We're really good at it. We are? You meet a lot of people in your life. Some mean nothing, some change you. You can never tell who's going to be which. It can be an intense relationship or it can be the lightest brush with someone. <laughs> Should we bring out the tempeh puffaloons? Yeah, that'd be fucking marvellous. Hey. You see that guy over there? Donnie Merkelstein, owns half of Hollywood. 
Is there something wrong with you? Donnie? This is Charlie, our talented chef. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you too. What was that about? What? Dog boy. I think I channeled the mongrel. Wasn't funny. No, I thought it was. These people are very important. Tonight is very important. Oh, listen to yourself. Jesus, I was having some fun. Richie! Richie! You okay? I'm getting my period. You sure? Yes. You coming? That's okay, I'll get a cab. Look, I'm sorry this is taking a little longer than we thought. But I'm wondering whether we should make sure that everything's working. Yeah. I have the number here of a, of a clinic which will test your sperm. Right. Um, test it for what? The sperm count, you know, mobility. Whether they're healthy. I'm sorry to dump all this on you. I just hadn't thought there might be something wrong with my guys. It probably isn't, but the test will sort all that out. I mean, I'm not worried. And anyway, you know, there's always IVF if there's any problem. It's school night. You right? Yeah, just taking it in. Shall I call your cab? Yeah, thanks. Did the doctor talk to you about what can be done if you do have problems? No, I'm 28 years old. I'm very fit. I don't think there'll be any problems. But if there is a problem, are there things that they can do to remedy that? I will cross that bridge when I come to it. OK, OK, OK. I'm being pushy. No, it's... Just, I don't know, it's getting complicated. It's OK. Let's go into this meeting. Hmm? Yeah. I'm sorry. Hi, how are you? What? Locked myself out. Can you come over? I've got ten kilos of salmon heating up in the back of the car. We'll put it in the fridge. Well, I can't. The car keys are inside too. Look, I can't leave here for another hour. I've got a meeting with the executive producers. You what? No, I can't. Charlie. Go on ahead. I'll sort it out. Charlie, what is it? Oh. Charlie? Charlie? Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I got a cab here. Is meter still running? Can I have your keys to my flat, please? Oh, Shit, I thought Luciana. Oh, I thought she was going to sort it out. Fuck Luciana. And fuck you too. Absolutely vile. I had to send back my main course twice. Donnie was barking mad about some stupid nonsense to do with his car. You sorted out with Charlie? Uh, what? What is it? Uh, do you read minds? No. It's written all over your face. Do you want to leave the show? No. You and Charlie? No, no. You don't want to do it? You don't want to have a... You've changed your mind. I've thought about this a lot and this is something I can't do this as a favour. And if I wanted to have a child, it would be with you. But I'm just... I can't...
can't say that this is what I want right now. Your commitment need be no more than you're willing to give. But what I want now and what I might want in a year, two years, God, 18 years. When I think of my whole life being shaped by something I would never have thought of unless you'd asked me. Richie, that's what life is. Intersections with fate. I mean, I... I don't want this to change our friendship. You really have made up your mind? I'm sorry. Just, just keep talking to me. Okay. I'm, um... I'm sad. I'm very sad. I know. I hope this doesn't stop you. <sighs> well, I'll just have to think about that. Do you have a brother? I got the check today. How was that, eh? Bet you've never seen money like that. <laughs> it was magnificent. That's what I like about you, Richie. You're not afraid of money. And you wonder how a little kid like Aggie can handle it all, though? She'll handle it fine. She's a clever kid. Yeah, I'm sure. Still, that celebrity status at such a young age, not to mention the salary, although I guess she's on kids' margins. She's on the same rate as you. You're both on the same deal. Help yourself. Absolutely, as it should be. I thought so. I'm glad you've come over, Richie. I just wanted to talk to you about our, our working future. It's all working, isn't it? Yeah, but it's about to change big time, particularly for me. That's going to have a huge ripple effect for you. I'm pregnant. I found out on Monday. That's wonderful. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> oh, congratulations. It was great meeting you, Aggie. Oh, I shouldn't call you that, should I? I didn't get your real name. It's Aggie. Really? Oh, yeah, of course. I'll see you later, Aggie. Bye. Bye. Got quite a star there. Haven't we? Woofy woof. Good to see you again. OK, let's go. Jerry's in town. I want to get him in on this. Well, maybe I could join you. Luciana's told me about the you deal. You still have those two final scenes to do, haven't you? Just catch up with us later if you can. Uh, Luciana, about Just that shopping... Call me on the mobile, Richie. Yeah. See you around, big guy. I like your work. Why did you let him wear it, anyway? And in the street? It was a joke. He, he was messing around. Why didn't you call me? We called a friend, Gabrielle. She's a lawyer. But she was impressed. <sighs> so, why didn't he take it off? Well, he didn't have any clothes on underneath. He'd taken all his gear off before we went out. You do realise that suit is copyrighted, Richie. Anything could have happened. Yeah, I'm sorry. No more, OK? I mean, how did it go with the guy from LA? God only knows. I can never tell with these people. My guess is that he won't bite until we get a whole lot more episodes under our belt. Damn. Exactly. OK, come on. Out with it. What's the problem? Shopping centers, Luciana. I thought we were making a TV show. Go on. I'm not singing or anything. It's just an appearance. I don't need to do that stuff. We can put anyone into that dog suit or something like that. Luciana, I'm sorry, but I won't be doing it. OK. You're the producer. You sort it out. Really? Yeah, I won't be there tomorrow, Richie. Can't make it. You're in charge. Let me know how it goes. Yeah, sure. 
Well done, my girl. Outside a marketplace on earth, there's a subject we all talk about. It's called girls and how they work. Last night while walking in the park, a strange kind of thought occurred to me. So I went to your house and told you. about